Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, we are in the middle of finishing our uh, science stuff. So I've been just ma ha manually handcrafting all the science things, and also just kind of like refilling some of the machines here. So I just saved basically, I don't know, fucking three minutes of your life. Uh, you're welcome. You're very welcome indeed. This is a service I do to you. For you, not to you. Whatever. And we're pretty good. Alright, so we got some more materials, so I'm gonna actually make one of these radars, which requires some electronic circuits and stuff. Oh, if you don't know how to make electronic circuits and stuff, don't worry, I'll fucking explain it some other time. I figure it's a t it's something for another time rather than right now. Um, because it just doesn't make any sense for me to go into it right now. But I think, I think this thing is just going at full pollution all the time, but I'm not sure. I don't think the pollution scale is down at any point. I don't think that pollution scales, which is a weird thing to say. All right, we're gonna just put this guy here. Uh, so now we got our first thing, which is um, assembly machines, and I'll show you what those do. They're actually very nice machines, and uh, you, you know what? If the game kind of isn't really clicking with you at the moment, um, it will very shortly, because uh, it, it will start to make sense what it's all about. God, I hate I hate it when there's like coal like this. Oh, it's the worst. All right, uh, all right. So let's make sure that our steam engines are at full capacity. Uh, we'll kind of, I think, take it down here or something. Yeah, this is where we're gonna make it. Okay, there is a problem. Oh, fuck. All right, we got our first bugs. We can make a repair pack too, but that's fine. We'll do that in a second. I don't want to spend too much time repairing things. Actually, I'm not even going to bother repairing those. I just changed my mind. Those things can go away for a very long time. All right, so we need some of these things too. So, assembly machines, hey. This is what I mean about, I don't know how much tutorialness I'm going to get in here because it's going to be me building shit a lot as well. So, these things require the, the science packs, right? Um, so, you have inserters to take things into certain machines. So you can notice how science pack ones require one copper plate and one iron gear wheel. Well, we can't, we have to actually construct an iron gear wheel as well. So copper plates are something I can just manually insert into the machines because it's things that the our furnaces make. But the gear wheels actually have to be constructed as well, which then will go into those machines. So that's kind of how this works. So eventually this will craft and it crafts at a speed of uh, half the speed at, at which I actually make things myself. So, um, it's one of those interesting little mechanics of this game. Uh, and now we're going to make something else as well. Um, to make, I'm thinking we start making some electric mining drills, but I'm not sure. Probably should start making some electric mining drills. Yeah, let's make some electric mining drills. So we're going to get into electric mining drills now. And we're also going to probably move some of this stuff around as well. So, um, burner drills are obviously not a, a long-term solution, because burner drills kind of suck. Um, and, and both mining speed and the fact that you have to fuel them. So, like, this entire time you've been watching me kind of, like, run around fueling these things. But we're going to start getting into electric mining drills, which is good. So I'm going to just feed the resource into these machines as well. Alright. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna remove two of these. And now these two are gonna be the only ones going. You know, the ones that are low health. That's a good idea. I'm gonna put two more up here. So we actually need a lot of iron. And to replace what we did before. So I'm gonna try and find a sweet spot where it only takes out coal. But that's kinda hard to do that. Cause you see, it's trying to bring out iron here in my expected resources. So, I'm not sure. I mean, one of the things you can do is you can get like a... Okay, whatever, this is good enough. Can I make one here? Yeah, I can. Alright, so that's good enough. So, these are our electric drills. And we can now make it, place it onto belts. Now we get into belt mechanics as well. We get everything now. So, this is how we are going to get our coal for now on. Is We're going to put them onto belts. And you notice that there's two sides of the belts. There's a lot of uh, dynamics to that, actually. Uh, but for now, we're gonna just uh, make a system that just make basically feeds our power supply because it's actually we're consuming a lot of power now. 
Uh, and we're trying to still go for... Did I go for turrets? Yeah, I'm going for turrets. Now, there's some reason why it's stopping it's because it doesn't have enough, uh... Doesn't have enough, uh, iron. Which, I don't want to manually be feeding that thing forever, but... We're gonna just kind of deal with it as we can. And so there you go. And this is actually gonna be, uh... We can actually take coal off of this line, too. Uh, and then we have to go over here and kind of... Have it so that the inserter will grab... Whatever it needs for a steam engine. So now we have perpetual power forever. Okay, well, for, for as long as we have coal uh, in that area, essentially. And the only thing I hate is these coal things, but we'll... Oh, shit. Yeah, we're trying to work on some better shit right now, believe me. Yeah, these coal things are totally gonna die. I, I can guarantee you they're either coming from here or down there somewhere, but we just don't won't know, and we won't bother with them, because... It's a total waste of time in this game mode to run after things like that and try and save the world. You cannot save them all. All right, turrets are done. Uh, so now we will go into logistics, which is uh, splitters and underground belts. And this will allow us our very first dip into... Uh, actually, I'm going to do something else first. We actually need... We actually need some ammunition. So, let's get the ammunition first. So, uh, once again, uh, ammo kind of important, so as you can imagine in this mode, we're going to actually make uh, something over here to make ammunition, and it will just feed into a box, which goes over here. And now we can make a turret. We don't actually need these two things anymore, so I might just destroy them myself. But, like, they're, they're working, man. They're, they're working so hard. They've been with us this whole time, but they're damaged, and I don't want to waste anything on them. Alright. And since they've been kind of attacking over here, we're going to put down a gun turret. With uh, five ammunition, simply because I don't have any more ammo. And that's good enough for me. Uh, yeah, so there is some stuff around here. There's some uranium there for when we go nuclear eventually. A lot of stuff like that. We also... Let's attack. Getting attacked. No, they killed one of our things. Alright, well. I guess we're gonna put this one over here. Oops. Actually, that was uh, this thing. It wasn't actually the other thing. Oh well. We learn. We really don't need these anymore. We're, we're actually done with these. Actually, we can just destroy them somewhere. Alright, big pipes for our fucking fallen brethren here. Uh, yeah, they're dead. So sue me. So yeah, we're starting to get attacked, so that's good. Good fucking times. But don't worry, we have more ammunition on the way. And we need more of this stuff as well. As you can see, they really like me, but we're working on turrets. So, uh, we're trying our best. But we have to handcraft literally everything in the universe. So basically, the biters kind of go after thing. Whoops, why am I taking coal? As I did press the right thing. So the biters kind of like going after things that generate pollution and radars. Uh, but they will most of all prioritize, over everything else, they will prioritize um, gun turrets. So this is why we put the gun turrets where we do. Because... Uh, yeah, well, the gun turrets are basically the bait. Um, and th th if they're attacking the gun turrets, it means they aren't attacking more important things, so. Uh, as long as they're in range, as long and that's that's the key word, as long as they're in range, it's fine. I need to keep uh, some rounds for me. So we're just putting singular gun turrets up everywhere where there's uh, basically some action. And uh, with that being said, we're going to actually go and start working on walls, because that's actually important right now. So, I'm just making some more stuff for now. And I'll bring a bunch of coal with me, and then we'll come up there and make some, uh... We'll make some shit happen there. We also have to bring power with us, and a, and a bunch of other stuff, so we can just kind of eat off this little line here, and... Alright, I think I kind of want to feed this machine from a box. So I don't have any more wood. 
it really worth going down for wood or should I, I'll just make an iron chest, I don't care. I'll, I'll need the iron chest eventually. Um, so we're gonna just suck it up. Now, this is not the fastest way of doing things because we actually need to have fast inserters, but whatever. We'll just uh, we'll deal with it as it is. Do we have another gun turret? We need more gun turrets, actually. Maybe just this many more. Oh, here we go. We don't have very good weapons either. But this is just the nature of the beast. Alright, give it like half my ammo stack. That sounds good. Alright, we can make ourselves light armor if we want to, but I don't think we actually need it. It's under attack. Yeah, they, they attack that up a little bit, but that's fine. So we can actually see our evolution factor, and we're at uh, point uh, zero three. What when it, when it, whenever you see it go to one, that is the highest evolution factor that uh, that they can go to, uh, which means it spawns the hardest things like basically all the time. So and that's just the number of how that works. And I'll I'll, ch I'll be checking on it occasionally. Um, it's not now. Give me another gun turret up there, because I actually. And we need more copper as well. Actually, we need more copper into these machines too. I didn't realize that I didn't put any more copper into that. So they're still doing research, but it's something that we don't don't have to really pay attention to anymore, which is good for us. Uh, how many more machines do we need? I uh, guess we're gonna need an iron chest. Uh, how many more of these mining drills do I have? Okay. We'll just, uh, we'll start making our way up there. So, luckily the turrets don't actually require power. So you're asking where are we making our way to? We're making our way to this stone right here. And unfortunately we have to use these power poles, and this is why I said earlier in the game that, like, it isn't actually possible to do a run of this game. I actually can't see it because it's dark. It isn't actually possible to do a run of this game with no wood because you kind of need the power poles. And I know there's some guy out there that's going to go, well, I can fucking do it somehow or with mods or something. And then I told you already, like, mods don't matter. Your silly willy mods. Yeah, the mods are okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. These things are going to feed directly into two furnaces that will have all the shit in there. Unfortunately, this is not the most optimal way of, of doing things. I wish I had a bigger stone patch, but we kind of just generated a map and didn't care. Um, also, we do not have an assembly machine, but we will put our two turrets up. So when, when you see that exclamation mark, it means something's in combat. Uh, and you're going to be seeing that a lot, and you're going to see me also ignoring that a lot, because I'm, uh, I'm a jerk. And we, 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 let our, we let our shit die, because we're jerks. All right. Uh, unfortunately, that stopped at some point. We also have to just watch for when things kind of die out and things like that. Uh, take the rest of our ammo with us. That's another 20 rounds for us. Uh, and we wanted to get an assembly machine, which we do. We, we desperately need. And actually, we don't even have walls researched yet. Uh, maybe we should do that real quick. We actually need to get that going. So yeah, these will go at a. This is not the fastest shit in the world, but it's obviously not a temper. Uh, sorry, it's obviously not a permanent thing. We're gonna do more with it later. Uh, and as you can see, our production is actually getting kind of full. All this stuff, um, and also I, I'm not sure if this will be enough uh, turrets, but there are enough turrets for now. They're just pissed that I'm uh, I'm generating so much pollution. The it's a game that has an important lesson, and that is. Uh, Greenpeace sucks, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. Fuck. Man, people people don't get my fucking dry sense of humor ever, and I get flamed by people that are, like, normal. Alright. Uh, Alright, let's see here. I don't think we're going to do that much more with this, but we'll just... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Make one more. All 
All right, so that's enough of that. Let me make the stone walls. All right, let's go assume by the time I get up there, that'll be okay. So the best, the best uh, thing to do is actually to try and make systems that kind of feed themselves without having them to go on belts, which is why you see what I did here. So the hope is, fuck. So this is just making as many stone bricks as possible right now. Um, so that's all we're using it for, is we're using it for walls for now. And then we're gonna come back up here in a bit, and then hopefully I'll, this will all be just done. We can actually see on pay-per-view camera, like the fucking biters. So we can already see the outskirts here of some of the bases, which is not great for us, but I'm not really intending to build up in this direction, so we'll probably just have the wall kind of come up there around like here. So, uh, we are building a wall. Uh, who's going to pay for it is very debatable, but um, I'm hoping the biters will chip in, but, you know, they're, they're just probably going to gnaw at the wall and fucking destroy it, but, you know. But, you know, I have I have hope. I have hope. So, the, the radar the radar dish does two things. It serves two purposes. You can see that there's two squares here. Um, so, I have vision around the, where the radar is placed, um, first off. And the second thing is it scans scan sector so I can see like oh hey there's a biter nest there now or well there probably always was one but you know I can I can see it now so it prevents me from having to go explore myself which is something we don't really want to be doing um, a whole lot of because uh, we have shit to do and I should have really done the stone walls first so I could have gotten this going because uh, we have to basically start working on like uh, layouts of uh, furnaces and shit like that not even a meme we actually have to do that I'm just gonna just make a bunch of oh shit. Maybe we should make another fucking turret here. I mean, the thing is, they won't attack that because the other turret will always have its back. But yeah, all right, let's go back to logistics. Yes, you can pause things. And there you go. So this thing is now just gonna make walls, and the walls will be made eventually. So we can now actually just leave this alone. I'll, I'll fill it full of a bit more coal, but. I mean, you know, it's just, it's something I'm going to just have to manually feed every once in a while. Uh, there's no point in making some kind of elaborate system for that, because it's whatever. It's just, it's not going to last forever there. All right, so let's make two more steam engines, and I already made another boiler, because we're actually running out of power now. So... So this, this system still works for copper plates, because if you've noticed that copper plates have actually not been a, a problem in the slightest. Uh, we've ne we haven't needed many copper plates at all. We don't even need that much coal either, to be honest. And this actually is a perfect excuse for us to work on the other side of this place. So this is going to be a double-sided system. So the way, it the way the ratios work is you can have two steam engines for every boiler, and for every offshore pump you can have, I think it's... Uh, uh, fucking, I don't know, uh, four, I think it's like 40 steam engines or 20 boilers. So it's like 40, 21. And it's like the perfect ratio, so. It may satisfy that part of you that really likes that shit. And let me go actually plug in those things, but I was just getting some more stuff. So it looks like, uh, this is not a sufficient amount of turrets now. Uh, so that's not good. And the, and the thing is, given the scenario I've decided to choose for myself, uh, yeah, um, basically things are not looking good. That's okay, we have more steam engines. Just get another gun turret out. So, one of the first things we need to do, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just make a couple more gun turret. Well, maybe one more, maybe two more gun turrets. Two more gun turrets, and then we're gonna start uh, massively making ginormous amounts of uh, ginormous, literally ginormous amounts of drills. Because now we need to, we now we need to like obviously the cat's out of the bag. The biters know we're home, um, so I think the play the play now is to basically to scale up. Fuck, fuck the biters. They knew, they knew what they signed up for or something. Alright, 
And then we're just going to make tons of these electric mining drills. So about six would be good. I think I should probably stop this thing, because I think I have enough ammunition. 47 ought to be enough for anybody. Obviously, obviously 47 uh, ammo clips is going to last us until the end of Death World. That's sarcasm. It, it actually totally fucking won't. Alright, let's make sure these keep going. Because we, we actually don't want to be on these burner drills forever. In fact, we, we hate burner drills. Bur burner drills are bad. Just remove this, because I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna rewire some of this stuff. Uh, we also don't have enough stone, so, actually, while these are going, let's go get us some more stone. We don't want to take it from the stone up there, so we just want to go to one of these, like, big sandy rocks and just, um, knock them down a couple pegs. Fuck this thing. Because we only have 8k stone, and we need all of it for walls over there. This is one of those things I kind of realized would be a problem. We're going to go over here, too. Fortunately, we cannot leave our base, really, because uh, if for some reason there is some sort of angle that I haven't anticipated them coming from, uh, our base will die. And obviously that, that's, that causes a little bit of an issue. So we're just going to eat some of these, and then we're going to go back to our base. How many uh, is that? 21? Still not probably good enough, but... We may just have to deal with it for now. I know there's another stone brick somewhere else. All right, that place looks liter literally fucking awful. Look at this. Look at him fucking coming right towards my lone turret with five ammunition. How dare they? But yeah, you can see. So they do expand every once in a while, uh, the bases, and they'll expand kind of towards the pollution because that is like, I think it's like the best candidate for them for, uh, for expanding. I think that's how they deem it. Um, but it's kind of just whatever. Uh, the attacks vary. It, it, it just depends upon what they got. Um, so it's fine. All right. It's time to kick ass and make furnace layouts. And I'm all out of ass. Can I at least, oh good. I at least have vision over this. So it's important that I have vision over this because if, if this, uh, iron chest at any point dies, uh, the game is over. Um. Uh, well, I mean, we're not actually over, but uh, we'll just say it is, because I'll get extremely mad and I'll just probably rage quit. So, that's just kind of how this works. Also, this this coal sucks. Like, this is actually, like, the worst coal I've ever seen. But the problem is, everywhere I put it, it's like, oh yeah, you want you wanted some other shit too, didn't you? you know, actually, let's do this. Yeah, fuck you too. Let's actually probably remove this. We're gonna do this. Yeah, there you go. That's much better. It's actually not, but let's say it is. All right. Here's what I want to do. I want to start eating away at the. I want to start eating away at the iron that's around here. Whatever I can get away with. This is gonna be so dumb because of the way this this layout works. But yeah, uh, that's life. Sometimes, 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 sometimes you make retarded. Uh, drill layouts because the game doesn't, won't let you be hardcore. Fuck. Apparently we need a lot more coal, but that's okay, that's what these are for. Maybe I'll do something like this. Yeah, there you go. That, 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 this is, this is okay. We're, we're, this is, this is completely acceptable by pro factorial standards. You know there is actually a fair bit of elitism for this game. I have to say, don't let, don't let me don't let me like dissuade you from that. Because I mean there is a multiplayer to this, but I just remember when I was learning this game, I was like, uh, I was kind of like in my stream, and I'm like, oh yeah, let's do that. And then some guy kind of comes into my stream when I was learning this game. He's like, this is the worst furnace load I've ever seen, and uh, I, I kind of said the equivalent of, well, why don't you say something like constructive, like help me out with this, like. I'm just learning the game, bro. And uh, he's like, no, I'm leaving. I can't handle it. And then he, he left. I, I didn't get the approval of a random stranger on Twitch, so no. I'm discard for life. Kind of how that works sometimes. Alright, apparently these turrets are taking taking up the butt, but that's okay. It'll be alright. 
I mean, it's it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that Twitch is probably a cancerous place, but you know. Anyways, okay, so we're basically almost done with this guy. Um, <clears throat> yeah, they'll, they'll just do their thing. We kind of need underground belts, because if you haven't noticed, there is kind of a problem here with the logistics of the belts. Um, as in, like, where the fuck do we bring it? I don't even know. Also, I don't know which way I'm going to bring my ba build my base. I probably actually will build it up, so maybe we're not going to do this, like, the wall here. Like, because I feel like furnaces should go here, but... Do I build down here that will that will get in the way of the iron ore, or do I build up? And up seems like the much better solution. Just going to say. But honestly, all of the solutions seem equally awful, so you know what? It's uh, probably not great. Also, this research is taking literally forever, so you know what? We have a bit of free time. Let's go and uh, let's go put another gun turret down over here somewhere. For some reason, this place did not get hit a lot. I don't know why. There you go. Nine for each of those. And how are these doing for... Okay, so we can just go up there and just quickly give it coal, because... Why not? So we're up to 82, 92 walls already. And I gave it the bigger box, because... Uh, we're nice people like that. But yeah, we just, we just need those walls so bad. It becomes a state, like, it, you, you reach certain stages in the game, and you just need to have uh, as much going for you as possible with regards to defenses. Okay, so logistics finished. Uh, the best thing for us to work on now is actually military, believe it or not. Uh, because that will just give us some better weapons and shit, um, which we're not going to use because we're passive. This is a pacifist run. That's a joke, obviously. Um, all right, so let's go. Let's go do this. We're gonna build our furnace layout in generally that direction. So, uh, how am I gonna do? So we have now splitters and underground belts. So you can see now that it kind of just goes underground. So I didn't place these things. All right, so it kind of goes like that, but I need to incorporate. Uh, this is kind of the more difficult part. Now, they've done something new with the splitters, and I'm actually kind of curious to see what they've... Actually, no. We're not going to do that. I, I, they've done some new shit with the splitters, but I think I actually can't really do much with that at the moment. Not in this uh, setup, anyways. So, the way, the way we're going to work this out is that there's actually really no reason to ever uh, deviate from more than one line for... Uh, from coal, like honestly, like I played, I played Death World several times, and every time I do coal, um, where this kind of furnace layout. Oh, by the way, yeah, uh, you can do this with the uh, the belts. You can abuse it, and it's not really abuse. It's like a known mechanic of the game, but you can do shit like this. So, like now you have, and you're wondering why I'm doing this. Well, I'll show you all in due time. I'm, I'm literally talking about trash right now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 is the magic number for furnaces, and you'll see why. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, so I have we have one fuel line, and we only need one fuel line ever. And in, in, in for, like... By the way, if, if you don't really know what my end goal is here with, with this game, um, all I'm literally trying to do is to get to, like, basically space. Like, I'm trying to get... I'm trying to launch a satellite. We will do some fun shit, but, you know... I just realized I have to move it slightly back. I know it ruined everything, but you know, you just that's life, okay? Sometimes life gets fucking ruined. All right, uh, and then we're gonna need a crap ton of these inserters. Can you go away? Can you? Holy god! Yeah, for for no for a reason unrelated to this, I'm gonna make some armor for myself. I swear it's unrelated. Um. All right, so we did this. Uh, okay, good. All right. Uh, this, this science setup is now in the way, but I, I think we can't care about that anymore. All right. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got it. So we make one of these back here. Okay, we still need some more iron plate. Some more of these. 
So now, so okay, so the reason I put these, like you notice how I have it kind of sorted like uh, coal on one side and iron on the other. This way it infinitely fuels itself, so I don't have to fuel it at all. Because I'm lazy and I, I, this is a game about being a lazy sack of shit. And if you're not being a lazy sack of shit, you're probably playing the game wrong. And you should, uh, uh, you should reconsider your career as an engineer. Yeah, I don't know. I only want to be so rude. All right, we're gonna make some manually make some ammunition for us. All right, so we're gonna. Just, this is uh, I'm ghosting that out just so I can plan it out. Whoops. And we make another row here. Now, by the way, uh, the amount of mines I made is totally not enough for this, but um, that's okay because uh, we don't care. All right, there you go. You can see it's 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 that the, the the machines are actually really smart. They'll they'll feed it whatever it needs at that current moment into the machines, so you're fine. How much ammunition is that? Okay, because I need to actually get our ammunition going again. Because uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I I kind of tore down the machines that were making that, and I'm not going to even bother filling these. Okay, I may I may f bother filling these with coal again. Um, yeah, so I kind of tore down the the things that was making ammunition. Um, this, that, that may have not been the, the best play, but that's just kind of how I went. And we can also now have fast inserters. Let's just make sure that this guy gets what it wants. Alright, so we're now going to build... So this is how we built our resources in. And we apparently don't have enough for electronic circuits. Also, why do I have so much iron ore, the fuck? All right. So as you can see, this requires a fair bit of uh, inserters. Now, ten is a magic number, and it will come into play a little bit later. But just know it is—it is indeed a magical number, um, and you should not judge it otherwise. And we're gonna just kind of set this all up. We're running out of. Uh, okay, we're, that was like the perfect amount of poles uh, for some reason, uh, and that was completely intentional. And not a happy accident at all. Okay. So, I mean, coal will eventually have to be improved as well. And obviously copper will have to be improved as well on top of that. So we're just kind of letting it have a happy time and making whatever it wants to. Okay, there we go. So now this is all good. Probably could use another one of those things, but yeah. Alright, so all this crap, we can just get rid of this. Yeah, we're done with you. So we no longer need these, because these are shit. Okay, we ran out of our iron axe. We can just make two of those, because they actually stack. Unfortunately, it would appear that I, I've queued up a bunch of items, so I can't actually do that. So now we start debating what do we want next, and probably I'm going to go for bullet damage. Uh, which is a, just a nice upgrade. Uh, this, this makes it so we expend less ammunition on things, and uh, yeah, just overall a good, a good, good way to go. Why does this thing not have fuel? I don't know. Probably because we need more coal. All right, let's see how our power is doing. So production is good. So when production is about half or whatever, like this means like it can make this much, and so everything is satisfied, and it can make like twice as much as if it, as it needs to. So that's kind of nice. Uh, thing was, uh, I was gonna make power poles somewhere. Uh, I, I kind of need power poles. I think about it. Fuck. Okay, let's go get some trees. So you can see I'm a little bit all over the place, but we can make now a submachine gun. So that is our consultation: is that I can make a submachine gun. So. The amount of science production that we have is actually abysmal, but we're just trying to like, we're just trying to get by. As this is actually a game of extreme like, like timing, like everything is, a, is about timing. We're trying to rush some better technologies. And so we don't want to be wasting our time with uh, nonsensical shit. So this is why I said like during this run, I probably wouldn't explain uh, things as well as probably someone who isn't under this much pressure would probably be doing, but you know. That's life. Alright, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make a couple more 
burner drills and then I think we're gonna call it up for the day. There you go. So now we just doubled our copper production. Go give this guy a repair. These guys have five each. Give it just a slight bit more. We can we can hand make some of this too. Uh, I think I'm just gonna resume our production of ammunition. And then uh, we will call it quits. Uh, we we need a couple things though. Oh cool, we can make the, we can destroy these now. What? What's this? Is this like one little thing of coal? You gotta be joking me. Yeah, this won't stand because this is gonna annoy the everlasting crap out of me. There you go. Oh, you know what? Did I just like fuck? I did use all one boxes. Oh well. I'll just have the, that one crate of coal for some reason. And as you can see now, like the, it's actually just making things as as it as it comes in, so uh, we don't really have to concern ourselves too much. Shit. Ignore that. And we're gonna now make a crap ton of ammunition. And now we have. I probably don't want to actually use the uh, the good inserters for this because it's trust me, it's gonna it's gonna eat so much off of the line. Especially since we're actually going to make something else on top of that. Are we out of copper? We are totally out of copper. That's okay, that's why we can just run up here and get some more. I, this will be automated too, by the way. Uh, well, I mean, you know, I, I look at this and tell you things will be automated, but... It's obvious to me, but... Maybe not to you. Alright, let's make another assembly machine. This is going to be also a very important one. Apparently I'm just really into iron boxes these days. As you can see, they keep attacking these, but as long as I occasionally come over and remember to repair them, it's fine. This is the more important one. And it it's probably not obvious actually why it's more important, but whatever. Alright, so this is going to make gears and belts. So this requires plates, iron gear, wheels, and stuff. So that one's a very simple one to make. And we kind of just do that, so it feeds the gears into here, gets his own iron plates, and ta-da, we have a chest that I'm telling it to limit the inventory to buy, to just this first row of belts, because, yeah. Alright, now that that's done, uh, we consider to ourselves uh, to basically scale something, but you know what, it's actually all the time we got for today, so thanks a lot for tuning in, uh, and I'll Decide what I want to get to next time. Goodbye. The only good bug is a dead bug.